Welcome to Pops and Pylons. Let's play some Hubert and Gonzalez 4. We're gonna play as Taungu here and we're gonna go for the first Taungu Empire achievement. Um, now, Taungu is a one province miner over here in Southeast Asia, I suppose. Um, now, we played in this area sort of a while ago when we played our, um, what was it called? True Air of Timur run. We actually stopped um, at the borders of India. So, I feel like this is fine. Um, last time we actually played in this area was, I think we did Cebu? Probably, right? I mean, sure, our Congo uh, campaign also had colonies here, but they had colonies everywhere. Anyway, first Tongo Empire, what do we have to do? We have to unite our culture group by 1500. So in the next, uh, what's that, 56 years? Not quite, 55 years, uh, we're gonna have to uh, deal, well, conquer all of this. Um, which became easier, the whole achievement I think became easier a while ago when they, um, I think with Dharma they reworked the, the area here. Um, there's no longer any um, Burman culture provinces owned by Ming. Uh, so we don't technically have to fight Ming, uh, though, well, there's Ayutthaya here, that these two provinces in Ayutthaya that are Burman, Mon culture, um, in the Burman culture group. And Ayutthaya starts to return to Ming. So unless that breaks, uh, we're gonna have to fight Ming somehow, which I don't know that we can do. But hey, <laughs> that's for future me, right? To worry about. Um, Tongo also got a mission tree a while ago, which is uh, rare for such a small nation. Um, we have actual missions here. We're not gonna get through the whole tree within uh, the 55 years that we have, but we are gonna go to some of these annexation things, which give you extra claims. For example, once we have Prome, um, we're gonna get uh, permanent claims on Central Burma, Upper Burma, the Shan Hills, and the Kareni area. And if we go into, I assume, regions map mode? No, area map mode. Um, we're gonna get uh, this year Central Burma. We're gonna get Lower Burma, right? Let's say Lower Burma. No, Central, Upper, Shan Hills, and Kareni. Okay. Central, um, Kareni, that's this white stuff. And uh, Shan Hills, that's up here. And then, is this Upper Burma? No. Where's Upper Burma? Here. There. So a bunch of stuff around here. Um, unfortunately not uh, Lower Burma, um, because that's the other um, achievement we have here, or admission we have. And we really do want to eat Pegu as soon as possible. Uh, we get a permanent claim on the Rakhine area from that, which is... I don't actually know. This one. Alright. Um, I think we're gonna go for both of these, obviously, uh, and try to make use of those permanent claims. Um, the question is whether we start fighting Pegu or Prome. Now, Prome seems a lot easier. Um, they are a one province miner, like we are. They have 5,000 guys, like we do. So we can probably beat them. They have farmlands, uh, four tiers, so... Shouldn't have too many issues there. There is no river crossing to Tongu either. So it's just gonna be even playing field. Uh, they are, as we are, a territory to Ava. Uh, which we're gonna have to break, obviously, at some point. Oh, we played a scale, of course, <laughs> in this area. So that's our last playthrough in this area. Anyway, um, so I think we're going to start going for Prome, but I want to focus Pegu immediately as well. Um, we are going to need friends, though. And uh, let's have a quick look at our Diplo Macro Builder, what kind of friends that could be for us. Um, alliances, offer alliances. Mongnai and Prome would do it immediately, but that doesn't seem useful. Shen we? It's a bit more, that's, that's not really helpful. Shipo, no, Kale, Mong Maoman, none of these monks are interesting to me. Manipur, Sudiya, Tripura, none of you matter. These are all just, oh, Langshang at minus 19. That's something we might be able to get. Maybe if we can rival their rivals. That's interesting to me. And then... You, Kalahandi, Patna, Vasta. It starts to become difficult after that. But things, Ayutthaya is interesting as well. Um, but we're gonna have to fight them eventually. So I'm more interested in Langshan, who does not, I don't think, own any provinces that we need. No, they do not. Um, so Langshan, who do you hate? 
Langshang rivals Lanna, Daviet, and Ayutthaya. I don't think we can rival Daviet or Ayutthaya, but we might be able to, we should be able to rival Lanna, right? Let's check here. Yes. Let's do that. I don't want to do too many rivals early on because that hurts um, or increases the chances that our enemies get friends. Um, this puts us to... This should help with our um, reputation here. I'm gonna go ahead and send a guy, uh, relations actions improve. I'm also gonna start fabricating immediately on the Promians, uh, covert spy network, yes. And then the question is our third guy, does he fabricate on the Pigoons? Or does he try to find us another friend? Langshang and Ayutthaya are enemies, yes. Okay, so if we do Langshang, we can't do Ayutthaya. Uh, how about the Khmer? Come here. Um, da, 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 lines minus thirty four. It's not impossible. Dev yet. Forty nine is a lot. Khmer hates Ayutthaya. Bengal. Minus sixty. That's not quite what I'm looking for here. It's 50 on John Poor. We're going to another friend, but I think for now... Uh, do we go for Khmer? Obviously, we don't want to be drawn into wars um, against our allies. I'm going to improve with these guys for now, and then double check back once we have a... Oh, the you hate us. I improve is still the wrong thing, damn it. That's a waste of one day. It'll be fine. Uh, what else do we have to do? I'm not going to do more um, rivals right now. We want to see how um, stuff shakes out, alliances shake out for now. I'm going to enact this monastic education because it's just positive. Um, I, um, I'm not making a lot of money. We can probably drop down army maintenance for like a month or two. We do need a while here to get our claim, so I think dropping down army maintenance, at least for the moment, is fine. Err, uh, army maintenance. Oop. We won't be able to do too much with our estates yet because of the lack of land to give them, so they won't have influence. Um, I think I won't do anything right now, and I'd rather wait until we have land conquered that we can give away. Uh, we're not gonna go deep into any... Um, Things like uh, any idea groups, if at all. I think we get a tech seven. Is that a tech five that you get the first idea group? I'm gonna to need to check that. Um, but I don't think it's gonna be a diplomatic one. So I'm interested in increasing um, diplo development in our capital. Gives us bigger loan size, because it's more money, bigger army size, and all that. Could do other ones too, but we need mail and we need admin. Um, but Diplo we don't need as much. Question is, do I want to run the Encourage Edict for that? We don't pay a lot of maintenance. I think this is fine. Yeah, because it's point 0.1. Um, but now it's 10% cheaper to do this. Anything else I can do? We're not going to get the burgers happy, so no. I'm just going to pitch a pip in there right away. Um... Question is whether we want to focus on mill. I think we do. We want to get tech four ASAP. Unfortunately, our ruler has minus five morale of army, so we're gonna be a bit pained on that. But I think I'm gonna do this. Um, there's a level one morale of army sky available. We need to keep that in mind. Improved relations could also be quite interesting for us in the future. These guys, not so much. Now, trade. We probably don't have too many options in trade, right? We're just uh, collecting in our own Burma area. And while we do have reach on other places, we don't have any trade power there. We don't have reach on anything that leads into this. So what I'm going to do... Uh, that's the question, right? You guys should be in the Bengal trade node, Pegu. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to send a guy to there. 
Um, and then I will swap, once the merchants arrive, we will swap to, what's the thing? Not Maximize Profit, but Hostile Trading? Yeah, plus 25% spy network construction. And then later we're gonna switch to establish communities for improved relations. Seems good. And then I'm gonna send the other guy to collect here, and then we're gonna think, <clears throat> think about the same thing. Um, especially since we're currently collecting and pr uh, spying in Prome, so that's even more important. Let's go to speed four, or not. Oh, enter does not do it. <laughs> there we go, speed four, our guy is back from being stupid. I wanted you to build a spy network. Uh, oh, we can't even, damn it. Oh, I wasted a whole month of that. Uh, that's unfortunate. Just because I clicked the wrong button. It, it'll probably be fine, but yeah. So here I'm gonna, no, ah. If you do a timed achievement, what you should not do is misclick on things all the time. Good thing all these things are slow. So what I meant to do was click on the hostile trading. Yes. And then we do the same thing in two days in Burma. And since no monthly tick passed, we didn't lose anything, I don't think. Except for face. All right. Uh, we should be making some money. We're gonna need money. Money is gonna be one of our bigger issues. Money and the aggressive expansion. Oh, you guys. I did rival your rival, right? How did I just rival you? No, Lanna. I did rival Lanna. Didn't I? I did. This should help. Let's check the monthly tick. Shouldn't there be a bonus in here? Or is it just an opinion bonus? It's probably just an opinion bonus that we get from that. Um, minus 17 reasons. Maybe we're gonna have to hire the Diplo Relations guy for another plus five here. That might be a thing that's gonna have to happen. If they flip um, friendly, that's gonna help. Uh, marriage, oh, you're really close to marrying me, so that's good. Um, the thing is, who are you? Prom, no prom. The thing with marriage is, we have a free diplomat. Uh, right, because I wanted to be in Pegu to build a spanner work. Um, the thing with marriage is that improving relations goes faster um, if you have law relations. So if we marry, we get bonus relations, which is good in theory but it will slow down our improvement of relations. So it's quite possible that we don't want to do that just yet. Um, Arakan is somebody we're gonna have to eat eventually. Also, they're probably not very powerful, so I don't think we want that alliance either. We might just get crushed here. We can't get attacked by anybody but Aven people. I'm gonna pay the one to Ava for now. We're gonna have to beat up Ava soon. But for now, I think uh, having their protection is nice. We need to remember... I'm gonna marry me, Arakan. No. I'm gonna marry Langshan. Oh, they are no longer interested. Damn, they've found extra relations. That is very unfortunate. Ah, there's the common rivals bonus. There we go. It should tick up, but the extra... the bonus declarations is a problem. Let's have another look at the Diplomaco builder, see if there's another person that might want an alliance that is relevant. Let's take Mayor that we might... They're kind-hearted and they like me. Can I overcome minus 24 if they already like me? It's gonna be rough. That seems like the best option here, I think. Um, how much do you like me? 25. Yeah, this a chance. Once we have a guy, um, I'm gonna try to get the Khmer. Khmer! Um, to be happy. But I should have married. Okay, that's a good reason to marry. Um, so if we have to restart this, which we might have to, a uh, good reason to uh, marry these guys, and let to people, come on, is that um, you then sort of guarantee that you don't get the minus 24, have too many relations. 
Um, we could gain 10 karma or we could lose 10 karma. Um, autonomy change is not the worst at the moment. 10 years is a lot, of course, but is it Tongu the province? Right? Yes, it's just my province, which is my capital, which should never have autonomy, I don't think. Also, we produce Chinaware, so this would be fine. Um, do we want, how do we want to do karma? We probably want to hit positive for now, because the best in karma is to stay in the center. Right now we get 5 discipline, 2 diplo rep, uh, and if you go up here, you get um, less. And you just get plus 1 diplo rep, and if you go negative, you just get plus 2.5 discipline. So at best you stay between minus 33 and plus 33. Gonna try to do that. So let's grab the autonomy change, which does nothing negative for us at the moment. Um, you guys did build up your troops. That's our force limit anyway. Seven. Definitely gonna want to go to seven. The question is whether we go higher. Did you find any friends, Prom? Are you freaking Thaya? Oh gee. Oh, gee. Um, Houston, we have a problem. I needed to attack people earlier or something. I am now in this position where we might already have lost our run. Holy fudge. Um, because we don't have time, right? I mean, normally we could just sit here, bide our time, try to become somebody's vassal and use the break war to break free and something like that, but that... None of that is going to do things for us here because of the lack of time. I was ready for a three-way way war, but not against Ayutthaya. That is a problem. Ayutthaya likes me. Maybe we need to work on that too. But this, yeah, this is just not going to happen, is it? Too many diplo relations is a problem. I should have allied Langshang earlier. Maybe we do a restart. That's a learning opportunity for us too, right? Get clear. Get smaller here. Was Champa always there? Was that a thing that just happens? Now we soon gonna be there that we have the claim, which would be the point where I want my army on full morale, except for the fact that I don't have. I can't attack while Ayutthaya defends them. It's just not an option. Pego making claims on us. That could be one of our chances, right? Um, come home. Um, if we get attacked and defend well with the help of Ava and then take Pigou inland, maybe that's one of our choices. Do I... Increase my... What's going on here? Are you at war? No. Everybody's allied to Langshang but me. Dang it. Um, my diplomat, what do I want to do? Do I want... So I can fabricate on Mong Pai. Or Lan Na. He has so many friends. Ooh. I need to prome... Lana is kind of interesting to me because we surely can call in Langshang for promise of land. I don't want to give Langshang any of this land though, do I? No, it's fine. That's maybe an option. We declare on them, promise them land, give them some Langshangi land, uh, Langnai land, and we ourselves take the, the Peguan land. What do you allow? Prome. It's just Prome and then a bunch of monks. Nai, Yang, and Mao, which is. You no, know, that's Pai. It's these guys. And these guys. And these guys. Interesting. I think we need these guys. What was it? Mong Kwang. Kong, Kong, we need. It's Mong Kong we need, not Mong Mao. This area is gonna kill me. Um, yeah, maybe that's our war. Let's fabricate here. And grab a claim on Pegu itself. Do I keep working on claims on Pegu? Um, 
it's tempting. What does it do for us? It reduces... No, let's try to get the Khmer on our side. I think that's more important than saving some dip. Um, even though... You still like me. Why do you still like me? Oh, because we're not allied to your rival, right? Could try to go for Aether. I mean, the, the alliance is terrible right now. Minus 59. It's easier for the Khmer. Let's go with the Khmer. You guys really... It would be great if you could drop a relation. Yeah, if I had allied them, uh, married them before, we could just marry them. Uh, if I had married them before, we could just ally them now. That's what I'm trying to say. I feel like we need to up our maintenance here. Um, we could get attacked. And these guys just made a claim on us. And we are defenseless if they do attack us. I think we go up to 7 too. We just go up to 7? Yeah. It's gonna be hidden on our income. Ava, yeah, you get some tribute. <laughs> Gonna need to break free from them as well. It is, by the way, quite possible that this is gonna be... That we're gonna have to at least consider a restart at some point here. We're learning how to do this. This is one of the more difficult achievements, I think. I think I said that, I mean, I definitely said that for True Air of Timur, and I, we did it in the first try, which is great. But, um, yeah, this one is still also something. Goodbye, government reform progress. I wish I had a diplomat to check on things like declaring war, because there might be a chance that we can declare without somebody coming in. There's a very low chance, I think, because none, but nobody here is at war. If these guys were busy at war then maybe, but right now that doesn't seem likely. Please drop one. Oh. Do you see that move? They must have just turned, yeah, they just turned friendly. Hello, Alliance, please. Perfect. Now, if I were to declare on the Promians, I assume, yeah, you would be defended. Um, Sukhothai, oh no, Sukhothai is a subject to Ayutthaya, right? Yeah. So we should definitely have um, immediately um, fabricated on these guys instead. No one would be known now. If I declare war on you, Langshang would come in on your side. That's not great. I mean, 24 reasons. My diplomatic reputation helps from the karma thing. Should we make some rivals? I think at this time we're pretty safe rivaling because they already have tons of alliances anyway. I think we're pretty safe rivaling both Pigu and Prome here. Um, get our power projection to tick up and um, in theory, improve our fabrication speed against these guys. Lang Chang wants to marry me now, that seems good, sure. Yeah, it costs us a tiny bit of legitimacy, but that's okay. I should have checked the age of the Lang Changi ruler, though. It's 28, good choice. Well chosen, indeed. Next month, next month we could do the declare on Lang Na. Well, you would not come in. Wait, I can't promise you land? Why can't I not promise you land? Oh, because it's human and rival war. Right. Um, it won't be in a month. Half price, skill three, morale of armies. That's great, but I can't afford that sort of thing. <laughs> Not even at half price. So this is probably jungle, yeah. So we're gonna have a bit of a hard time attacking into Chiang Mai. But maybe we can make them attack into us. Let's grab the claim. If they don't attack into us, Langshang should come in and punish them. We could just go punish the Promians here. It's probably the plan anyway, right? Let's grab a leader. Can I grab one? I don't think I can from the nobility, right? We need how much influence? 40. Yeah, we can't get that. So I'm gonna have to... You <sighs> grab a terrible leader. It is what it is. Um, I think we declare this. See how this goes. Uh, turns out. Oh, come on, next month. 
Actually, I have to wait for a monthly tick here. Um, come home from that place. Uh, and then we do what? The Khmer. Close. You don't want to anymore, right? Um, I don't hate getting them happy. Oh, Ming. I think I want Ming happy. It's probably something you want to keep going all the campaign. Just improve with the Ming. There's conquest now. Declare war. Promise land to Langshan. Go in. A lot of people to fight, but we have Langshan coming in. I'm probably still undermanned, and they have a terrible ruler. Leader. Oh, we can make our ruler into a leader too, right? Uh, let's try that. Maybe I should have done that. Definitely should have done that first. My ruler? Better? How's my heir anyway? We're pretty young, so making my terrible heir into a leader is also a pretty good idea. We want him to just go away. Um. We're better at combat, but I want my heir to die. Let's run us. I think we just do it. Again, check that we can't declare on Chrome. Maybe there's something cool happening. No. I don't know, that's not an option. And Pigu again. Not an option. So yeah, it is land now. Declare war. Promise some land to Langshan. Conquest and hope that we can can deal with this. Which we might not be able to. Can't make prone co belligerent. Mong Nai, Mong Mao, Mong Yang. We should check these things. Yeah, they have Ava that calls in more people, that's not okay. Mong Yang, Lan Na, Mong Mao, Mong Nai. Okay, we could make Mong Yang co belligerent. And what's the last one? Mong. Is it Nai? Yang Mao Lan Na. Yang Mao Lan Na. Okay, so we can make Mong Nai and Mong Yang co belligerent. Let's double check. Mong Yang Lan Na, Mong Mao, Mong Nai. Yeah. If we take them and like vassalize them, uh, that's cool, and we get reduced um, microsoft expansion for doing that. So, uh, what does I say? Yang and Nai. Not Pro, not Mao. Call in Lang Na, uh, Lang Shang, and go for it. Pass a day. Wait, Pro not join. Or did I not pass a day? There we go. Pro joined. We're gonna go in and try to crunch these guys immediately. How much money do I have? 0.16. Oof. I really want that morale of armies guy. He's cheaper too. I think we're gonna have to do it. May have to take a loan uh, for this war or two, but maybe not. We do really want to stack by here. We did not get it. We killed it well, but well is not good enough. Uh, we really need these guys to just be dead. Or we need Lana to do a lot of work, Langshang to do a lot of work for us. I think I'm gonna straight go for the siege here. Um, if Wong Nai offers me a battle, you know, I'm gonna check what they are. The Langshang are gonna deal with it. Yeah, and they're not even reinforcing here, so we don't need to move. And now they're reinforcing. I think that means that I reinforce too. Do I have any siege progress? One. Do I want to defend my siege progress? I think I do. Let's shift consolidate, leave the 106 here. The rest march in there. 7th of January and we arrive on the 7th of January. Perfect. Ava wants my money. Well, they got a stack wipe first. It's a bit unfortunate. I mean, stack wipe is great, don't get me wrong. Um, it's just that it would have been nice to also battle these guys, but if they actually take that battle, they do not. Yeah, please keep running interception for me. That's a lot of Mongmans here. Wait, there's Lang Changi? Lan Nan? Oh, Lan Nans and Mongmans. Yeah, you have some trouble at home. You're doing nothing here. I mean, I, I, I do love the idea that you're protecting me. That's great. But you could go and try to catch these guys, right? Why are you just sitting around doing nothing? Doesn't make any sense to me. 
Um, we don't need all these guys in the siege. Uh, we should be absolutely maximizing this, and I wasn't. Get over there. Now you're moving? I don't get it. What are you doing? What are you doing, friend? You need to stop the siege of your homeland. Oh, also this is bad. Um, I think I made a boo-boo. Now we're getting out, so that's fine. Uh, do I have maneuver on one of these guys? Put my air on there. Should survive this. And our friends are around to protect us. Just give me the siege, please. This... Ugh. Come on, there's the siege. Excellent. Now let's merge this. You're sacrificing your guy. Let's make use of that and attack these guys in the farmlands. And I'm... Ooh. I mean, we protected that guy, but now we are in a spot of trouble. Let's hope our Langshang friends... Come on, don't do this. Yeah, okay, at least reinforce me. We're gonna take a bunch of damage here. We're rolling... Well, right now, 8 against a 0, that's pretty good. Um, same morale, really same, same otherwise. They shouldn't be able to flank too much, since they have very little cav. When do you arrive? 29th of July? Come on, get in here. I'd much rather have had the my ally take the brunt of the attack here. But it, it's still, we lost 2,000 guys to their 4, five, well, 3.5, I guess. Movement speed bonus, eh, not that nutty. We have Prome. I think I'm gonna offer these guys to attach to me. Then I'm gonna walk over there. Let's try to protect my allies' capital if we can. It's the capital? It is the capital, right? Yeah, we can get that fort bonus on the hills. That would be quite great. Don't take it at. Ah, dang it. Okay, they took it. Uh, what does it mean for us? I need something different. Chiang Rai jungle. I could be there on the 29th, I would be there on the 3rd, so that seems fine. Yeah, they're not coming anymore. We're gonna lock ourselves a bit in here. Do I want to siege down this jungle fort or not? I mean, the answer is not. But do I have to? How many enemies are there in this war still? 24,000. Yeah, maybe we did a bit more than we could chew here, or, but took a bit more, a bit of a bigger bite, let's say. Um, kind of want these guys to sit on the fort and at least we get an even fight there. Let's siege down De Hong. Let's check whether we can already piece out the Promians. Uh, no, but it's pretty close. I think piecing out some of these smaller people here could be what we need. You're running to Shen. No, you're running to Ketung. So I'm gonna try to turn back. Oh, we caught somebody here. Interesting. Stack wipe them. You're going to Chiang Rai. You're no longer going to Ketung. All right. Be careful here, I just put a guy into bad position. We need the enemy to sit on forts somewhere while we take their forts. I think that's kind of how we win this. And ability against ten influence, oh that's really good. Is that enough? Ten influence uh, is enough. Cool, that's really good. Um, let's do this before we put an end to this first episode. Uh, we're gonna call a diet. Uh, definitely grant a generalship and recruit a minister. And then I'm pretty sure I want the military power. The question is whether we also grab the additional levies. It's 2,000 manpower. Let's not do that right now. 
Let's have them tick up first. Takes 15 loyalty, yeah. Let's have them tick up in loyalty first before we do anything like that. Um, I think sitting on these sieges, letting them sit on these sieges for a moment is okay. Um, the question is whether I should sit on this siege here. I'm gonna say that is not what I should be doing. Although this two siege is pretty good. Let's do this. Try to siege my subject's capital back as well. While we can, and use my, my subject. I call them my subject. They are my ally, of course. Technically, technically. Um, do I have any siege groups on any of you? No. Mm, just use my air then. Hope he dies. Hope you die. I can't have this happen though. I feel like we may have to stop our siege here and just try to punch these guys instead. We're not winning the siege race and we can't afford to lose it. Unless Pro. Oh, Pro is willing to give up. That's good. So I think that's the first thing we do here, right? We take Prome. Ah, maybe letting them sit on that thing for a moment is fine. Let's merge our troops. Uh, in a way that we don't stay away. Why is this a way we can do? Okay, this is the thing we can do. Um, yeah, sitting on the fort doesn't do anything. Um, you are... Well, let's put a cut in here and then check back next episode. Um, do I or do I not want to... Let's check this thing before I forget. Um, do I or do I not want to pay Ava this tribute? Ava, you... Trust me, 56. Minus 15 is a lot, so I'm gonna, gonna pay that tribute. And I put a cut in here. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like what you're seeing, then do hit that like button, hit the subscribe button if you're not subscribed yet. If this is your first time on my channel, I do a lot of EU4 content. I have a long backlog. I just check my archives and uh, tons of playlists for different achievements runs in all sorts of areas of the world. Um, some other games, but mostly EU4, so check that. And subscribe, of course. And if you have anything to say, anything uh, you want me to consider here, anything you think I should be doing differently, then uh, do tell me about that in the comments section. And if you like what I'm doing, also tell me about it. Thank you guys for watching, see you guys next time!